गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर सो एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन आवर ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी प्रैक्टिकल सो इट कैन ऑल्सो बी कॉल्ड एज आर्टरियल ब्लड प्रेशर एज इट इज डिटर्माइन इन द ब्रैक्यल आर्टरी ऑफ आवर लेफ्ट हैंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट डू यू मीन बाय ब्लड प्रेशर सिंपली इफ यू यू से when the blood flows in our vessels the pressure it exerts to the walls of the vessels is called the blood pressure in uh, our theory we can write that it is the lateral pressure lateral means from one to the other part lateral pressure exerted by circulating blood upon the walls of the blood vessels so here you can see what in the blood pressure there is two things happens one is contraction of the ventricles other is the relaxation of ventricle when the ventricles contract it uh, pumps up excessive blood from the heart to the vessels so when the contraction happens it excessively gives a pressure to the vessels and that is the maximum pressure it is called the systolic blood pressure and when the ventricle is relaxed the pressure falls uh, falls down and that is called the diastolic pressure start so theoretically the systolic blood pressure is the maximum pressure exerted by blood or vessel wall during contraction of uh, heart chamber this is already i have told you in the uh, demonstration Drop 
from this artery. After blocking the artery, we slowly there will be a fall. Bulb. From there, we will slowly release the pressure from the cuff so that so that the blood can flow. Now the blood, new blood can flow from here. Then here we will see we will measure the blood pressure in our um, so to do this practical we need two, two instruments one is sphygma manometer another is the stethoscope in the sphygma manometer we can see first we have a long mercury manometer scale which is connected to the reserve mercury reservoir or mercury chamber which is also called mercury tank and it is a u-shaped scale when we do the practical the knob that is now closed will be open when it is made vertical in the position now you can see the mercury is coming out after that only we can use it for measuring the blood pressure after that we have a cuff it is a cotton cuff cuff can be of three types one it can be yeah, the bigger than this, which is used for the obese person, smaller than this, which is used for the children, and this is for normal adult. We will use the normal adult cuff. Then the cuff is connected to two tubes. The long tube is connected to the sphygma manometer, and the smaller tube is connected to the pump. In the pump, there is a bulb. The bulb is given to protect the escape of air and reduce the air from the cuff. So for the palpatory method, first we have to calm the person. After that, we will wrap the cuff into his arm. It is done just one inch or two finger above the elbow line. It is given to block the brachial artery. After that, one with examiner's own assumption, he will raise the mercury level in the scale with the help of the pump. After that, he will release slowly release the pressure by the pulp, bulb and he will use the three finger method to watch the pulse of the subject. As I previously said, it is only to see the systolic pressure. Now we have to note the systolic pressure and after that we will now proceed to the next method using the stethoscope. Now stethoscope will be placed above the brachial artery and the examiner will note the pressure. The systolic and diastolic pressure is noted after that. So as we can see, first we did the palpitary method and we noted the systolic pressure. It is for our own idea of maximum limit that has to be reached in the mercury manometer when we do the oscillatory method. In the oscillatory method, first we raise the pressure almost above 30 mm Hg of what we got in the palpatory reading. Then we place the diaphragm part of the stethoscope above the brachial artery and near to the lower part of the cuff. Then we slowly release the pressure using the bulb and we listen to the earpiece of the stethoscope very carefully. At the point, we will listen to a sound like lub dub lub dub and at the appearance of the same point where the uh, sound appears is the systolic blood pressure. And the disappearance of this sound, exactly that point is called the diastolic pressure. The normal resting blood pressure of a subject should be systolic, it is between 120 to 90 mm Hg and diastolic, it is 80 to 60 mm Hg. This auscultatory method is more accurate than the palpatory method. 
Now we will go to the result today. Here, here for the subject we got 120 mm Hg of systolic blood pressure and 80 mm Hg of diastolic pressure which is very normal for the subject and we conclude that today's practical is successfully done. Thank you.